ringside with my colleague, Jesse the Body Ventura. That's right, Gorilla. I'm pumped up. I'm here to call it like it is, as Jesse the Body always does. A tremendous happening right here. You won't find any better match than anyone. Unbelievable. Well, I'll tell you what, Gorilla. I'm pumped up. I'm happy to be a part of it. It's great to be back with you. It's my pleasure to be here with you and part of this happening. Unbelievable. Here we go. Time for talk has ended. Absolutely. They're ready. They've trained hard. What a matchup this is going to be, Gorilla Monsoon. Unbelievable ovation as they're hanging off the Raptors. Just take a look at the fantastic spillover crowd here for this extravaganza. The World Wrestling Federation outdoing itself and presenting this unbelievable part of wrestling. Oh, I'm, I'm so excited, just You can feel the electricity in the air here. You can grab a hold of it. Touch it, cut it. That's right. It's everything I expected at the BG to Monsoon. Well, you said that right, Jesse. And this is just an international affair. We're right. just deluged here by cameramen and newspaper reporters from all over the entire world wanting to cover this event. Boy, it's a happen. Well, this is going to be a classic matchup. You're going to see some tremendous moves in this model. Speed, agility, knowledge. It's all in there. All the ingredients necessary for a great match. This will separate the men from the boys right here. Well, Gorilla, you can feel the tension right now. This is what it's all come down to. You can cut it with a knife. You can feel the electricity in the air. You're going to see some fine wrestling here. Absolutely. Take a look at the charisma. Take a look at the power pack. Well, definitely, they're both in great shape. Great shape. I gotta do my normal. Say hi Great. to my four biggest fans in Minneapolis. Terry, Tyrell, Jade, and Jeremiah. What are you talking about? I don't know. I never heard you say hello to anybody else before. You're a long way from home. I'm halfway across the country. Prince is watching at my house. Oh, Prince. He's a big fan. Of you. I understood just that uh, your dog was named Prince. Is that, is that correct? No. Oh. You're, you're, you're all full of misinformation, Monster. We may see some rule breaking here. Um, you like to believe all scientific, but you'll see greed come out. I'll, I'll be surprised, Jess. I'll be surprised. Both men have extremely high character. Uh -huh. Uh, tremendous I respect for I can feel other. the volcano getting ready to erupt. I think so. Oh, I can feel it. The tension. How come you don't believe everything I tell you? Because uh, sometimes you're a fountain of misinformation. Never. I'm the man who tells it like it is. You must have had some steam on your lenses. You're worse than water. You're going to win if you ain't aggressive. You injure something, you go after it. What is this? He's also a sportsman, Jess. A sportsman. Sportsmen are only involved in duck hunting and pheasant hunting. Great! Not an easy hold to He certainly could hurt you in a lot of ways. Oh, yeah, that's smart wrestling. You know, if you can get your body in the way of that referee, you call it great. Smart wrestling, it's winning wrestling, Gorilla. And don't you dare tell me what? I never thought nobody. I, I may resemble that remark. Yeah, I remember you and Jack, Jack Dempsey back in 26. <laughs> Always remember, it ain't how you play the game, it's whether you win or lose. That's not exactly what I heard your motto was, Jess. What'd you hear? I, I remember you saying many times you had a shot made that said, win if you can, lose if you must, but I'll just... That's true, too. No, I love that. That's true, too. But like I said, you know, all spare in love and war. Chad going off in this capacity crowd, USA. What two wild goals. Listen, this is a straight grudge match right here. These two guys just do not like each other. No love lost here. It's going to be a classic confrontation here. You got two veteran wrestlers.
wrestlers. They, these two guys also just are the type of guys who, if necessary, could wrestle for an hour and a half. Definitely. I'll tell you, these are like two big back trucks flying head on. The irresistible force meeting the immovable object. Both of these guys will be pulling out all the stops. You can bet on that Great. Can you imagine just what's going through the minds of these two individuals? Gorilla, how, how would you like to be that little referee having to try to contain these two guys? Well, that's where you use the count, Jess. You don't try to physically step between these guys where you can squash like a great. Great. I like to take my time, too. It's a psych-out thing. Absolutely. Manzu. It's a psych-out. You get your opponent, you get him upset. Just those little padded leg edges can mean the difference between victory or defeat. A very, very important part of professional wrestling is psychology. And no one knows it any better than my colleague. Very well put, Jesse. Well, it's important the pace of a man. Some guys like a slower pace, other guys like a faster pace. And if you can get your opponent to wrestle at the pace you want to go at, that's to your advantage at all times. You know as well as I do. You know, my, my key was never play another man's game, Jess. That's right. You know, make him play your game if at all possible. Don't play his. If you can't get either one, then just wing it. That's right. Saw that going on here, Jess. Definitely a good, good matchup. How quick the momentum can change in professional wrestling and the tide turns, so to speak. If you don't have a face of wrestling talent, you can forget about it. That's right, that's right. Unless possibly you're an awesome individual like the King Kong. Well, I understand that he also has a tremendous and that's amateur That up. makes it doubly bad. Good. Doubly bad. It's like having dynamite with a short fuse. Done to that uh, uh, tore a hamstring in there, hamstring, muscle, whatever. Sure, it happens all the time. Plenty of injuries. That's what I'm talking about. I, I thought it was a stupid move. Well, I, I disagree with you then, and I disagree with you now. Yeah, well, look, and apparently he's injured himself. Uh, it happens all the time, Jesse. It goes with the territory. I understand somebody's in jeopardy if you lose a guy, Jesse. Is that correct? Ooh. One of your billionaire friends, I don't know. Not Marv. Oh, no. I didn't say it. Oh. I know you like to rub elbows with this. No, 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 no. They like to rub elbows oh. with me. Sorry. Find out all the Hollywood gossip. Sure. I was on the plane the other day with Farrah Fawcett. Sure. Couldn't keep her away from me. Had to call the stewardesses for help. Could you stop? Certainly, Ryan O'Neal saw the whole thing. I had a chance to see Mr. Perfect's father, Larry the Axe Heavy. Still got a 24-inch neck. He said he had to lose 20 pounds. I said, get your neck down to 18, you'll lose it. Oh, one of the big fans, Jess, from the WWE. Yeah, Sugar Ray Leonard. I guess you'd call him the undisputed middleweight champ now, right? I dispute it, though, because I think Marvin Hagler won. Uh, you have enough undisputed things to claim, Jess. such a great guy. How about Vanna White then? Well, I keep hush on Vanna. Oh, Bobby, welcome! Hey, all right! Hey, this is that bad This is the first time I ever had an option renewed. Second year for me, Gorilla. Glad to have you back, Bobby. Well, I guess it's okay. You know, like they said, they renewed your contract. Like you said, you never got that in baseball, Uger. One year with each team there. Hey, great. Come on. I'm looking forward to it, man. Good to be back with you and you. I'm going to have trouble, I can tell, here in the city between hey, the youth and the body. I don't think Vanna White has to worry about getting chased around by this. She's having a good break. The Mr. Baseball. Oh, she's definitely here, you. Yeah, I'm supposed to meet her. That's oh, I know you're being here. That's your main reason for being yeah, here, yeah. you know, Vanna White? Yeah, 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 I'm supposed to meet her here someplace. Well, you, do you, you have any idea that she's in love with me? Uh... I, I saw something about that in some One, tablet. I bet no, two, it's not her. Count it was two. Uh, the National Examiner, you. Is right that where it was? Page, yes. She wouldn't come here unless she got a date from me. And I was very upset.
upset about that. Jack Tunney never asked me. Yeah. I'm sure. I'm Woo. sure you're aware, you, that the body is uh, going to be behind the broadcast to move this ball to baseball. Yes, I know that. I heard all about it. Well, I'll tell you what, you, you'll never see nothing like this in baseball, will you? Ah, this looks like the final day of cut down day in spring training to me. <laughs> Dr. Frank Jones would have a picnic at this thing. Hey, you know, you know something? Yeah, what? With your lifetime batting average of 200, that means with every swing you can only hit one guy out of five. The only thing, if I ever had a good year, would mess me all up now, you know? Woo! That's why I never wanted to be an MVP, just for reasons like that. Good example. That's why you hit 200, huh? Well, I'll keep you out of that running. Well, you know, you, if Vanna has good taste, you know she's less filling here. Yeah. Please, yeah, I'm very familiar with that. Will you do stuff? <laughs> you know, that's like kind of like talking to the third base coach before you lay down the butt, you You're familiar with that. Uh, but then again, in your case, you, you got to make contact with the ball. And most of my third base conversations came from the dugout. Well, you know, when money's involved, there ain't no friends, you. You would know about that, wouldn't you, big boy? Definitely. Well, guys, uh, hey, look, it's really been nice, really been nice being up here with you. I told you earlier. Bailing out already? Yeah, I'm bailing out, man. I'm here to see Vanna. She's someplace in this arena looking for me, and we missed connections when I came in here to the announce for Vanna, if you're listening here on closed circuit, I'm on my way, darling. Hang on wherever you are, and security, please be careful with her. Vanna, I'm on my way. You can you after her vowels? No, 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 no. Just a letter here and there. Oh. Well, I'll see you guys. You bailing out of the broadcast position, hitting and going out to try to find Vanna. Right. You know what the funny thing is, Marilla? I know right where she's at, but I just can't say my room number over the air. Oh, come on. Please. Well, she didn't deny that article that was in the Saturday yet. Well, neither did I. Oh, no, I guess not. Well past 10 minutes already. You mentioned these guys' bodies, it feels like Great. 45 minutes right now. Tell me, Marilla, what was your biggest weight you wrestled at? 440. 440. The next did you eat when you super weighed 440? Just about it. I know, you were on a seafood diet, right? You yeah. ate everything Great. you saw. You know, this match could end up who's got the most endurance in five minutes. Neither one of them is going to have anything left. I'm afraid I have to agree with you, guys. Although when I was at my head, it was like 440. I could go and have out there again. Great. This match has gone longer than I expected it to go, Jess. Really? Absolutely. I expected they would come out here and in the first couple of minutes let it all hang out and see what happens. As old Yogi says, Gorilla, it ain't over till it's over. Right. And there ain't no point system in the pros. Absolutely not. I can't even hear you, Gorilla, hardly. I think he's blessed in disguise. That could be. For me. He's fighting, Gorilla. Could you tell that from this vantage point? You're darn right. But I don't have Great. Coke bottle glasses on. Oh, I got 20-20 hearing on, too. Uh -huh. Clean out your ears. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult to understand. Well, that's a cheap shot, Gorilla. I thought it was uh, rather exciting and rather innovative. Get his attention right away. Make him burn up some more energy. I don't think I want this guy's attention. Mr. Mr. Moves. I, I would have left him daydreaming. You think so? Hey. He's been there before. Knows what it's all about. You're not going to psych him out either, Jess. He's as dirty as they get, Gorilla. <laughs> but nevertheless, Jess, you don't settle anything out there in the middle of a match. You know that, and I know that. It's an unwritten law in the world of professional wrestling. You've got problems, you settle them outside the ring, not inside. Yeah, but Gorilla, remember something. Laws are made to be broken. That's another Jesse Robert. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Great. sorry I'm here to hear that. You know, the wolf climbing the hill is always hungrier than the one that's on top. Even after you double-cross somebody. I 
that gives you all the more reason. Everything is history up till now. Well, this is a happening. This is what's going on. You know, playing devil's advocate a little gorilla. You call him whatever you want. I always do. You know, I'm the only announcer that Great. does. You seem to soften him up a little bit with that last one, though. You might have caught him on the bridge of the nose. You know what kind of pain that can generate. Uh, how could you tell? I can tell from my vantage point. With those Coke bottle glasses you Please. wear, you could tell. Yes. You know, I always say that. Sometimes the little things are the devastating things. A little thumb to the eye. A disgusting type move. Can you blame him? No. That's skill wrestling, Gorilla. That's cheating. It's skill. It ain't cheap, Gorilla, unless you get caught. You get caught. That's the American way, the American rules. It just makes me glad I retired. Makes me glad you retired, too. Well, a lot of guys were glad when I was. Great! You can't win fair, Chief. Yeah, that's your motto. Win if you can, lose if you must, but always cheat. You know, Gorilla, that's how all the great fortunes were made. Thanks, so, certainly. Same thing goes at the blackjack table, Chief. This is unfair. This is not right. Oh, this is unfair, but earlier, that was all fair, right, Gorilla? You're cool with that. Oh, you know, that's right. You didn't see any of that. You were too busy stuffing another hot dog now. Did you, ever, did you ever eat one of Chico's enchiladas, girl? Oh, no. oh. You're not normal for a week. Well, I, I like that kind of food, Jess, but it doesn't like me. You know, let me ask you something, Gorilla. You look like you ate a whole pumpkin pie today. Please stop. I can't One. believe it. You're just jealous because you didn't get it. Three. Whip cream. Oh, man.